welcome back to Opal Admit. I am Ashley and today is going to be fun. I'm going to swatch a lot of watercolors. Um, basically, I'm just going to show you what I got for Christmas in art supplies. Um, so my husband likes to spoil me with the things that I really love and obviously right now that is watercolors and he went a little overboard. So today I'm going to show you what watercolors I got for Christmas and then I'm going to swatch them all. Um, I'm not going to be reviewing them or telling you what I think of them in this video. I'm just going to be swatching them so you can see them. And then you're going to let me know which ones you want me to test out and review first uh, because I have quite a bit to go through. So let's go ahead and turn the camera around and dive in. I'm going to show you what I got and we're going to get to swatching. And I have been waiting for days to do this. I didn't want to swatch them before. Um, I showed them on camera, so I'm very excited. Let's do this. All right, let's see what all we got. Some of this, he kept saying um, it wasn't Christmas just so he'd give it to me early. So some of these I got a couple of days before Christmas. Um, but let's take a look at the brands that I got. Some of these, um, this one I actually ordered myself but he let me. <laughs> I asked him. Um, I had been wanting these and I actually wanted to do a video on these. So, um, but he ordered this and I had never heard of this brand. So I'm excited to dive into those. I've swatched the small one on Instagram already. Um, and then this is a brand that we both discovered while searching the Amazon, I think it was. <laughs> um, open, please. It is called White light the white sorry white nights and um i just wanted the small granulator set and he ended up getting that plus this so we get to test out so many from this brand and it comes with a brush that is beautiful and it's squirrel here so i'm excited about that but I've poured these into pans so they could be setting. Um, I'm excited to try the granulators and this, and then this is the um, kind of travel watercolor box that I was just dying to have. And I poured the White Nights granulators in here. So I will obviously be filling this up with more paints, but um, I'm very excited to try this out. Um, so I might be doing that in a video as well. So let's go ahead and start. I think I want to start with this brand here. I don't know how you say this brand. So if you do know how to pronounce this, please let me know in the comments. But it's I-U-I-L-E. -I, 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 I don't know. Uh, but I love the branding. Let's move this stuff aside. I cannot wait to test those out too. Um, but I love the branding, the packaging, everything on these is gorgeous. So let's zoom in just a little bit. So this is the one that I already swatched. These are their color shifting, multi-chrome um, shifting watercolors. And uh, they're actually right here. I swatched them right here on white paper because I did not have any black paper. And um, they are beautiful. They will look much better on black paper. I do know this. I had people on Instagram say, swatch it on black. I know, I have some on the way. So when I review these, I will definitely do that. But we're still gonna swatch these and then I have not touched these. Oh, forgot their samples too. This is so cute. This is their button palette, like their little buttons. And my husband said, like he did some research on these and he said that they fill these in little silicone, um, things. I don't know, pop them out and then glue them into the pan. Um, but this is the button magical drop set. So we're going to start here. Um, they also sent these little samples. I opened the box and this is the first thing I saw. And I was like, Oh my gosh, those are the cutest samples I've ever seen. And Daniel's like, no, I think that's the pan sizes. And I said, no, no, those are definitely samples, but they're so cute. Cause I mean, they're about the same amount of paint as a button, um, a button a dot card. I mean, a little bit more, but like this dot is quite large as well. So anyways, that's the stuff I have from this brand. Let me grip my swatch book and we're going to get to swatching. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put a drop of water 
on all of these um, so they can start activating um, and while I get my book ready. Now, I know I'm going to get comments, people asking why I don't spray them with a spray bottle. I don't like it. That's my answer. I do not like. I know a lot of people spray their paints. Um, and yeah, sure, it can be a lot quicker. But when I'm normally painting, I don't use every single one anyways, and I just wet the ones I want as I'm painting. Um, but I don't like spraying water everywhere. I just, it bothers me. So, um, if you spray your paints beforehand, uh, that's fantastic. I just can't do it. I know I can't be the only one. <laughs> I'm kind of sad to mess these up because they're so perfectly dome shaped that um, I know these swatches are gonna mess them up, but that's fine. That's what they're for. Okay. This is my swatch book. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit more. And um, I swatch my paints on here. So I have them all in one book. And my Archer and Olive, Windsor and Newton, Windsor and Newton Professional, Holbein, Schminka, Roman Schmals, um, My Merry Blues. So let's go right here with this brand. <laughs> Um, we'll start over here. Again, keep in mind that um, these perform best on black paper or on top of other colors. So I want you to remember that. Um, oh, let me turn the autofocus off. Let's go ahead and get some swatches going. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm in my swatch book. Hold on. I gotta... I forgot. I was just kind of going in. Um, if you didn't know you could do that, just get wet paper towel and wipe it off. <laughs> um, in this book, I have them all as my stone swatches, so let me start that over. I was just excited and dug in there. Dug in? Dove in? I don't know. Okay, so leave room for the name. And stone swatches. Here we go. <laughs> Trying this again. This is the color 194. I think I'm doing them backwards then because I think these go through 194. Yeah, because the next one's on 193. Once these dry, I will um, turn it around so you can. I will, I mean, shift it around so you can see the color shifting aspect of these. When I do these swatches, I like to make them irregular. Um, I'm doing like stones and not necessarily circles, so. And some of these um, are more opaque than others. Some of them definitely cover better than others. But again, these are best used painting on top of colors or on black paper. And honestly, I've never painted with black paper. Um, I, I don't. I don't know for some reason. I don't want a black background. Um, but I did try these painting on top of colors and they look beautiful. I think I remember the green, uh, one of the greens specifically looks really well. Looks really good by itself even.
yeah, from that angle, they, they don't look the greatest, but just, you'll see. You can also layer them um, if you want. Oops, started to go into a different color. I think it was this one that looks really cool. Like the shift in this one is really pretty. Sometimes I love just calmly swatching my paints. <laughs> oh, in the sunshine, it sparkles. Got some morning sun coming through the blinds. Well, this one is the most solid, I think. Once these dry, I'm also gonna write the number of the shades on there, um, and then I will show you how they look in different angles, at different angles. But there are the shifting ones. Um, okay, let's move on to the button ones. These are the ones I have not touched yet, and I am very excited to see. There are quite a few in here. Let's see how these activate. This is like just a holographic, oh, you can't see. This one right here is just a holographic glitter bomb and I'm excited to see it. This one will be gorgeous on top of other paints, I imagine. It's actually some fairly big pieces of glitter in here. It looks like a, a nail polish glitter top coat. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call this one. <laughs> a holographic top coat. That's really cool. I'm gonna show and turn this down so you can see the glitter. To continue swatching now. Ah, I'm a mess. This one's a little bit more of an opaque silver than a glitter top coat, but it has some fine of those holographic glitters in it. It's funny, these little dots are smaller, so I'm making them smaller on here. <laughs> I wasn't doing that on purpose. Oh, this is beautiful. I can totally see me using these on top of some flowers or, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. That looks like a fairy's wing. 
Mmm. Pinks, purples, greens. Oh my gosh. You cannot, cannot see on the camera what this actually looks like. Oh, that one's beautiful. This one's got more pink to it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the camera down at this angle afterwards so you can see what they actually look like because that glitter is so pretty. We're gonna go ahead and put five on here. And this one has more of a green shift to that glitter. Yeah, I would call these my glitter top coats and they are beautiful. Okay, let's get into the colors. Let's see what these look like. Because this looks like it's going to have some opacity to it. Yeah, that's gorgeous. This one looks like it's a shifting one, kind of like these, but then it's got a little bit more of an opaque base. Do some butterflies. I'm like, oh, I'm just picturing what all you can paint with these. Oh, that purple's pretty. You cannot tell what these look like on the camera. Not from this angle. Let me see if I can move the camera down. It's gonna be in my face, but. Let me put a second coat on those. Oh, there's the shift on some of those. Okay, I need the focus to be here. Let's see, the camera is in my face now, so this is gonna be harder for me to do swatches, but maybe you can see them, hopefully, a little bit better. And the microphone is also away from my face, so I'm probably not the greatest audio, but all right, let's see what this green looks like. Oh, that one's beautiful. That is a favorite for sure. Oh, that's pretty. It's got a teal to like a lime green kind of shift. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I didn't swatch the one on the end, did I? I skipped one. Whoops. Hmm. I think I'm going to swatch it up here. Just so I have it on there. Oh, and it's got beautiful purple. Oh, that's pretty. That one's gonna be gorgeous over a black paper or on top of a purple paint. Okay. Again, I know these swatches are not um, showing these paints to their fullest potential. Oh, but I wanted to see how they would work on white paper too. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. I'm excited to try these in a painting. keep losing where I am in my swatches on the palette. There's so many of them. Darn it, where was I? Right there. <laughs> they also look different on the paper than in the pan. Beautiful. Some of these just look like liquid metal. That's pretty. These just look so pretty in the pan too.
that's gorgeous. That's like a mermaid color. I'm curious if any of you have tried these paints, what do you like to paint with them? I'm also curious, have you even heard of these? Because I had not heard of this brand. And I think he told me they're from California. And they have quite a, right, a wide selection. Um, so I'm just curious if y'all have heard of these. Where was I? That one. Okay. Ooh, I like that one a lot. It's a beautiful blue. Scooch this up a little bit. Oh wow. That's got, that's pretty opaque thick glitter right there. That is a good one. That's really pretty. And then here's a gold version. So it's like a silver glitter and then a gold glitter. Those two are gorgeous. I like those a lot. Those perform really, really well. And then here's another one that looks even more, yeah, cool tone silver. Yeah, let me know which of the paints um, that you want me to review first, because like I said, I'm not reviewing these right now. I'm just swatching them in my swatch book. So um, let me know which ones you want me to paint with, which ones you want me to go deeper in and investigate. <laughs> okay, let's look at this red. Oh, need some more water. Look at that red glitter. Beautiful. Running out of room on my paper. Here's a purple glitter. Looks like I have a little bit of red still on that. That purple is beautiful though. This paper is not wanting to accept watercolor right now. And then we're gonna go to the green and the blue and we're gonna be about out of space on here. Might go to this page next to it. Ooh, look at that blue. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm excited to show you these. Uh, whoops, all tilted. That one had a lot of water on it. It's very smishy. This one is another holographic glitter and um, that's pretty. Okay, I think I'm gonna get the rest of them just on this page, because I don't wanna turn a page. And I have like six left. Oh, whoops. These down here have been setting within the water for a little while, so they are completely smushed. This is a dark kind of gunmetal glitter with some holograph holographic glitter, and this is a little bit less opaque, but be pretty on top of things and now we're at a pink one yeah these down here aren't quite as solid coverage of glitter yeah I definitely have some that I like better than others but I can definitely see a use for these Yeah, this red's not as good as the one above it. Just 
two more. We've got an orange. And then a kind of a Grinch green. <laughs> Okay, all right, let me dry these real quick and then I will show them a little bit better. So here are the Iulis. Um, again, don't know how to say that, but you can kind of see the shift a little bit there on those. These are the color shifting ones here. And I put the numbers to the shades of those. And then here are the others. We've got glitters, a little bit of shifting in some of these. Quite a bit of shine on some of them. And again, these look a lot better in person. Um, these down here, I'm not really a fan of. They're very sparse glitters, but um, some of these are really, really gorgeous. And some of them have a lot of glitter to them. So, all right, there's the first brown. Let's move on to uh, we're going to go move on to white nights. I'm dying to swatch these granulators. So I want to swatch the granulators first. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I don't think these are all the way set. Ow, ow. Man, I'm really good at hurting myself. All right. I hope these are good. I know this brand has been a long, around for a while, um, but I am new to this brand. Just heard about them. So I am excited. Man, this feels, feels so nice. So those last ones are just like fun kind of watercolors and they honestly didn't feel the greatest just because there's so much glitter and they're not, they're not meant to feel like this smooth, gorgeous watercolor. This feels so smooth and beautiful like I already love the way that feels and it's already granulating that is gorgeous oh, love it um let's see here I'm trying to remember I think that one is the what are you called cobalt mist or is this the blue shadows I think it might be blue shadows and then I think the next one is sky blue but let's Let's see. Oh wait, no, this one's gotta be Blue Shadows. Oh, those are beautiful. Yep, I am in love with these already. I think this is Cobalt Mist. And this has gotta be Blue Shadow. I will have to confirm that, but... I love that. Okay. These are beautiful. This is making me excited to try the rest of them that I have. But these granulators are fantastic. Oh, I want to do a landscape with these, some misty mountains. And oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Let me zoom in, in a little bit. Yeah, those are really pretty. All right, let's see what this one looks like. Oh, yep. They are very similar blues. These two look similar, but man, the granulation. I don't know which one's which, so I'm gonna have to squirt some out of the tubes and figure that out, but... Um, mm. They are beautiful and they're granulating without having to help them along. Some of them you have to really add more paint and add more water and move them for them to granulate a lot. But these are just doing, doing their job. Wow. Those are so pretty. Okay. So I'm already in love with those. Let's move that to the side and Time to break out the big box. Got the 
granulators up top and now we're going to start swatching this beautiful palette there are so many colors in here um and i will write on the screen how much this costs but these are also full-size pans they're not half pans like most palettes are they're full pans so there is a bunch of paint here so um it is not a cheap set but i do think that if these paints are good that it's a worth it kind of set because there's a lot of paint in here so let's go ahead and start swatching these and I'm going to paint with these like I would most paints. I'm just going to activate it with a wet brush. That's how I paint. So let's dive in. Um, this first one is obviously white. So um, I know people like it when I, here. We'll put some acrylic black paint down and then I'll let that dry. So I'll swatch the white one in a second. Now let's dive in here. Oh, yep, yeah, they are smooth too. So at this point, I've painted with quite a few paints. Um, I'm still testing out brands, trying to get a thorough knowledge of the brands that are out there. Um, but I can tell you already that I like this. Now, I don't know until I've used them a lot whether I like them as much as the paints I normally use, um, but I can tell you they are so smooth and they're very pigmented. Um, again, I said this is not gonna be a review, so I'm just gonna be swatching, but I, I am liking these so far. The cad yellow cadmium is my cad yellow is my favorite yellow um, there are a lot of yellows in this set and I've discovered that I go through yellow quite a lot so I'm not upset by that colors in here is definitely a bunch of colors like I don't use this many shades when I'm painting I mix a lot but um, I definitely like some better than others I was very surprised by this one um, but yeah there it's white nights and I think I'm gonna save this brand um, for a separate video because I've been swatching for a while um, and I think that that's probably enough for one video. So um, I just wanted to show you what all I got for Christmas. I think that some, oh, I didn't do the white one. I think that some of these are going to be favorites. I really enjoy um, the granulators, especially from White Nights. Um, let's see what the white looks like. I've got a little bit of color left in my brush, I think. Um, yeah, cause that's gray anyways, but I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. I don't know. Um, I want to do, I want to do this one next. Um, gosh, the, the presentation on that brand, amazing. Um, but I can't wait to swatch those, but that's going to be it for this one because I don't want it to be too terribly long. 
Um, but let me know in the comments below what you got for Christmas, if you got any paints or anything, um, any kind of art supplies. I would love to know what you got. Also, let me know which ones you wanna see dedicated reviews on, but that is gonna wrap it up for this one. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you wanna see our future videos, hit that subscribe button down below and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm not sure what's going on with all this. I think it's gonna walk in now.